The car in 48th spot was launched in 1972 as a diminutive car, but large enough to accommodate four passengers. I mean, can you imagine? OK, we're in the pub. Name your 100 best cars. Oh, I think the Ferrari, blah, blah, blah. I think, oh, you can make a good argument for the Ford Focus. And then one of your mates chirps up the Honda Civic. The early Civics had quite a few style quirks, like an indicator light that looked like it had been added on after the car was built, and a bulging centre divider in the grille. Standard equipment of the original Honda Civic was absolutely shocking, but you've only got to look at cars of that generation, Datsun 120YA, had a rear seat that was like an ashtray. Uh, the Honda Civic had bucket seats that were made of vinyl. Um, they were nasty things to sit in, especially on a hot summer's day. You'd come in, especially if you had shorts on, sit down, you burn your bum. Um, and they had rubbish on the dashboard. They had fake wood, and they still do it. After many years and many updates, the Civic is one of the most popular cars around, especially with the over 60s. But Honda decided to market their Civic to a wider audience, and the Type R was born. Now you're talking. Honda Civic Type R is... What was your mum's car, really, isn't it? Honda Civic is the car that your mum would go to the shops in. But you stick a chuffing, great big engine under the bonnet that screams its little lungs out, stick some low-profile tyres, fat alloy wheels, dynamic steering, and a gear change that is so perfectly positioned that you have got a recipe for success. The first thing that attracts people to the Type R is the look of the car, obviously. When they then find out about the performance, it just keeps them more interested. In terms of price, the Honda is available at between nine and 18,000, which isn't too bad, is it?